Welcome back in the kitchen with Chef Ricardo cooking show. It's amazing to be in the kitchen, but you don't know what happened. We got some rice left over and I said to myself, you know what happened? I did it before and I said I will sh just shit this with the fans. Um, curry, fried rice at home in your kitchen. It just tastes different. You know what I mean? This can go with like some chicken. Like, you say you do some, some stew chicken or some brown stew chicken or some curry. Not, not, or some, um, some stew turkey or, you know what I mean? Or stew beef or ox steel. This come in really handy with it. Beautiful recipe, guys. And I'm telling you, you will love this recipe. So if you have too much rice when you cook, there are so many things you can do. You can freeze the rice and use it whenever you like to use it. And also, just do what I did. Curry fried rice with some sweet corn and some green peas in it. Or if you got some mixed vegetable, even better. Just chuck a pack of mixed vegetable in it and just mix it up everything. Have that for the evening with some chicken. Good to go. Thank you so much for watching my cooking show. Remember, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And also, we are on Google Plus page. You know what I mean? We got one million people on the Google Plus page. You need to view that, guys. And also, remember, leave your comments. Very important. Um, on the Facebook like page, guys, please leave your comments. If you see something and you like it, leave your comments. Thank you so much, and see you next time. Bye-bye. Nice and lovely guys, I just want to simply say to you, today we want to make yourself some nice, lovely curry fried rice. The only reason why I want to introduce you to the curry fried rice, sometimes, yeah, we have a lot of rice cooked and we have some leftover. What you don't need to do, you don't need to chuck this in the bin, especially the leftover, fry, leftover rice is one of the best rice to make, curry fried rice. Say so you cook some rice yesterday and you, you cook too much and you have left, leftover. You know, you know, rice can last up to three days. You know, I mean, the third day you can just do some curry fried rice like this. And the curry fried rice can go with like uh, some baked chicken or some oven jerk chicken or, you know, what I mean, some fried chicken, whatever you like to have it with. You can have it with. It. So I'm just gonna give you the tips and idea how you can do it. And also, you can put some vegetable inside of it if you do like. But we're just gonna give you straight up with the curry fried rice. All right? Simple. First of all, roughly about three to four cups of rice. It's like three cups of rice. That's for right. This is my frying pan which I'm gonna do all of the stir of the frying all of this pot right here at the moment. That's the pot which we're going to use. So what you need to do if you got some olive oil is simple. Let's give you exactly what Chef Color being gonna do. Put roughly two teaspoons of olive oil in the fried front pan right here. That's one of the first things what you're gonna do. Um just to clarify up this stuff, guys, I'm gonna use um the curry powder which I'm going to be using is mild curry powder, mild carbial curry powder. Really nice, you know what I mean? Not too spicy and not too hot. So that's the one which I'm going to be using. Then I'm going to put one large tablespoon of curry powder in the oil like this. Then we're going to put some herb, mixed herb, I got the mixed herb which I'm going to use. Just gonna put a pinch of mixed herb in it. And also a pinch of pepper. Then we have one spring onion which I'm going to be cutting up. Nice one. Two cove of garlic, you can add more garlic if you like to. Just finally chop it up. Half of a white onion. Instead of it like that. Nice one. So remember, this is all you need to do. If you want to add some vegetable, you can add some vegetable inside of it. You add some sweet corn, frozen peas, whatever you like to add in it. But we're just gonna go through the process of showing up. Or you can do yourself some lovely curry fried rice at home. Now we're gonna fry off these now.
Nice one. So, what you need, medium size heat, straight on the front pan and on the fire like that. And then what you're gonna do is simple. You're gonna be frying off this for roughly about four to five seconds. Look at that, beautiful. So basically you wanna burn the curry off first because you don't wanna get sick. So that's one of the main things what you need to do is just burn off the curry with the garlic and the onion and the spring onion and a little bit of herb. Oh, nice to go. You can put out some ginger in it if you like ginger. But that's I'm gonna just keep my own really natural. I got some frozen sweet corn and frozen green peas mixed together. I might just add in it. Really nice recipe, guys, as I can see. So that's one of the main things we should need to do first is burn up the curry with all of those seasons. Now what you can do now is just simple, add that nice lovely as you can see give it a stir really nice and I know you guys will enjoy this because it's just something totally different which you can do at home you know what I mean if you have so many stuff because sometimes you're really tired of a certain kind of recipe and you want to do something totally different at home. So basically, this is where it just come in really handy and to fill up the gap. Look at that beautiful curry fried rice. It's just really nice. Look at that guys, beautiful. Then what we're going to do now, we're just going to add some sweet corn and some frozen green peas inside of it. Really nice. But if you got some mixed vegetable, you can add a mixed vegetable to it. And it's just beautiful. And this you can have it without some nice, lovely home baked chicken or some jerk chicken. Look at that. That is fantastic. And I want you guys to enjoy the recipe. And please subscribe my YouTube channel. And as you can see, this doesn't take that too long to fry it up. Guys, a very easy recipe. Once you got the rice cooked, you can do this at home. Look at that. Beautiful. I know you guys love this one. Very easy. Curry fry rice. And this is from Chef Ricardo on the team. So we're gonna just leave this for another four to five more minutes on a medium size eat. And then we serve it out. Nice and lovely. Look at that now guys. So now this is finished. And this is exactly very easy and simple recipe guys. And as I said, you can serve this with some chicken or uh, whatever you like to serve it with is your option. You can serve it with anything you like, guys. So hopefully you enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the channel and as I can see, very easy recipe. Curry fried rice with sweet corn and green peas. Very easy. And then if you have like some mixed vegetable, you can just chop the mixed vegetable in it. Still bring up a lot of flavor to it also. And the beauty is that you fry it down with a lot of garlic and also white onion and spring onion so guys just enjoy it and thank you so much for watching chef for the cooking show we've got a lot more recipe and ideas and things you wish you can do at home thank you so much and that is it doesn't take long as i can see now you can serve this out for the kids and for the family and everyone happy with some chicken with some brown stew chicken or you know what i mean or some or some brown stew turkey really nice or some fried chicken really really nice guys Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.